Arthur Schopenhauer's Essays and Aphorisms delves into the profound philosophical musings of the 19th century German philosopher. This collection, characterized by its brevity and clarity, offers readers a concise exploration of Schopenhauer's key ideas, providing a glimpse into his worldview. The essays in this collection cover a range of topics, from metaphysics to aesthetics, and are presented in the form of aphorisms, concise and often paradoxical statements that encapsulate Schopenhauer's philosophical reflections. One recurring theme is the concept of the will, a central element in Schopenhauer's philosophy. According to him, the will is an omnipresent and blind force that drives all human actions and desires. It is this will that perpetuates suffering, as our desires are insatiable, leading to an eternal cycle of want and dissatisfaction. Schopenhauer's exploration of the will is deeply rooted in Eastern philosophy, particularly in his engagement with Indian thought, especially Hindu and Buddhist ideas. The notion of the will as a fundamental, unchanging force aligns with Eastern perspectives on the cyclical nature of existence and the imperative to transcend desire to achieve enlightenment. This cross-cultural influence adds a unique dimension to Schopenhauer's philosophy, setting him apart from many of his Western contemporaries. The pessimistic undercurrent running through Schopenhauer's work is unmistakable. He contends that life is fundamentally marked by suffering, a concept reminiscent of Buddhist teachings on the nature of existence. Schopenhauer argues that the pursuit of individual desires only leads to a fleeting and illusory happiness, and the only way to escape this cycle is through a denial of the will. In this rejection of desire lies the possibility of attaining a state of tranquility and liberation. The aesthetic dimension of Schopenhauer's philosophy is explored in his essays on art. He posits that art serves as a means to temporarily escape the relentless pull of the will. Through aesthetic contemplation, individuals can transcend their individual desires and connect with a universal, timeless reality. Schopenhauer places a particular emphasis on music as the purest form of art, devoid of the representational aspects that other art forms carry. In the realm of music, he finds a direct expression of the underlying will, providing a unique avenue for transcendence. While Schopenhauer's outlook may seem bleak, his philosophy contains elements of empowerment. The recognition of the pervasive influence of the will allows individuals to gain a deeper understanding of their motivations and desires. By acknowledging the transient nature of happiness derived from fulfilling desires, one may find a path to a more profound and lasting contentment through the renunciation of the will. The aphoristic style of writing in this collection adds to its accessibility, allowing readers to engage with complex philosophical ideas without becoming overwhelmed. Each aphorism is a nugget of wisdom that invites contemplation, encouraging readers to delve into their own understanding of existence and the human condition. This brevity also contributes to the timeless quality of Schopenhauer's work, his insights remain relevant and thought-provoking across different cultural and temporal contexts. In conclusion, Essays and Aphorisms, by Arthur Schopenhauer offers readers a condensed yet comprehensive exploration of his philosophical ideas. The pervasive themes of the will, suffering, and the redemptive power of art provide a cohesive framework for understanding the human experience. Schopenhauer's engagement with Eastern philosophy adds a unique flavor to his work, distinguishing him as a philosopher who transcends the boundaries of his Western intellectual milieu. Through the succinct and impactful aphorisms, Schopenhauer invites readers to reflect on the perennial questions of existence, challenging them to confront the nature of their desires and find meaning in the face of life's inherent challenges.